Yo, this is a quick tutorial on how to do custom Fortnite skins in Blender, meaning custom textures like logos, that sort of stuff. Uh, so to start off, I'm using the soccer skin just for reference. Um, so you're going to want to go to start off into shading. It will either be there. And if it's not there, you can't see it. Just click this little plus, general, shading. I'll try that again. Plus, general, shading, if that's not there. Um, let's just get rid of that. Now, if I go over to the shading tab, it won't look like this for you. It will look something like this. So you want to click on the skin, skin part. It will look like something like that. Click on that. And it will look like something like this. It might have a different sort of layout. But there will always be something like four, five, maybe three uh, of these. Little big, like big or little. They might look like this, something like that. Well, they'll be looking like this um you want to look for the one that says underscore d meaning diffuse it'll be connected to something like this either be connected to the base color like that or it'll be connected to something that says diffuse so once you found that you're going to want to click see i've got t underscore f underscore med soccer body underscore d you're going to want to click this little like folder sort of icon that's called unpack next to the x Click that, and then you're going to want to click right file to current directory. So what that's going to do is that's going to save that to the in a new folder in the folder that you've downloaded this model in or have ported this model to. So I have this model in downloads and it's going to go into this folder called textures in my downloads folder because that's where I have it kept. And you're going to want to search for it um, and it is called... F underscore MED body D black. I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna use Photoshop. So you can use any sort of free editing software. I'll link some free ones in the description. You can just use online. Same sort of process. You're just gonna put skin like photos and stuff on. So what I'm gonna do is it's gonna open up like this in Photoshop. I have Photoshop CS6. Um you might have a different one. And I'm just going to rotate it. So it will start off, it might start off like this, it might start off something like that. But for most people, it will start off something like this. And so you can see that the uh, like neck points into there. So that's where the shirt is. So I'm just going to rotate this real quick. So once you've got it how you want, you're just going to go and add a skin, a logo, whatever you want to put on it color anything so i'm just gonna put a logo on it actually now i'm gonna put text on it so i'm using burbank big regular white whatever and you can see how it's pretty easy to see on the soccer skin it's sort of a point i wouldn't do it anywhere below the chest uh that's just how i like to do it and so right now it's gonna be upside down so i can't do it there we go i don't suggest doing it too big because otherwise it will just appear a bit wonky. Like all bent and stuff. Like it or about that. Save as. Make sure you save it as a target.tga just to avoid any problems. Especially if you're packing the file. That's a bit more advanced. Um, so now you're going to go here. Say T underscore F. In the shading tab. So click the X. And then click open. And then you're going to look for the file that you just saved. So I just saved it as what it already was. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, T underscore F and you open it and you can see I've got my name there Rocky um, You can put anything you want. You can change the colors show you quickly. I'll change the color select color range black. Change that to white or whatever and You can set then see yeah, it's black. Pretty easy Do it again uh, I'll change it to white this time. Save it as a target file. So once you've got it saved like that, open, textures. Just look for it. Uh, white, where is it? White, there. So it's the underscore D, diffuse file. Here you go. Same as before. And it looks just, it looks pretty good. It works as a normal model. You can do absolutely anything you want to it. I'll show you for reference turns around that same 
just like a normal model, just different texture. And that's pretty much it. So if you've enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to drop a like. Uh, if you want to support me in the Fortnite item shop, you can use code Rocky with two Y's. And that's pretty much it for today. You can also follow me on Instagram, Rocky.DZ at DZNS. See what I, DZNS. Yeah, that's it. DZNS. And that's pretty much it for today. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. And see ya.